Now, after you isolate an organism, you would always want to know if a particular antibiotic works on that particular organism. Now, one of the most important tests which is done, which is called as antibiotic susceptibility test, is done on an agar which is known as Muller Hinton agar. Now, one of the things that you have to remember about Muller Hinton agar is this is the media that is used for antibiotic susceptibility testing, and the reason being that it supports the growth of non fastidious organisms. Now, coming to Muller Hinton agar, what do you have to know? Now, whenever we have uh, susceptibility testing being done, it is done on a 100 mm plate and you have about six antibiotics that you can test on that particular plate. So you have antibiotics which are present in the form of DIS and these are in fact what is uh, used to test after you swap the plate with the inoculum on your Muller Hinton agar. Now, the thing to remember is after you swab your uh, Muller Hinton agar, you are supposed to incubate for a minimum of 16 to 18 hours definitely for 24 hours for uh, staphylococcus. Now, after you incubate, you will be able to see what is known as zone of inhibition. Now, the zone of inhibition is something which tells you if that particular antibiotic is effective enough to control the organism. So, zone of inhibition is measured by vernier calipers and you have to differentiate it into being resistant, intermediate or sensitive. So keep in mind that whenever we are talking about Muller Hinton agar, we are, that's the media that you have to remember for antibiotic susceptibility testing. And this susceptibility testing, which is most commonly done, is called as Kirby Boyer disc diffusion method. So this is something that you should know about antibiotic susceptibility testing.